Okay, so in this video, we will be discussing about some of the uh, recent recruitment vacancies for ICMR. So ICMR has recently released this notification on 31st January that they are hiring for technical officer B in an unreserved category for biomedical engineering stream. Okay, so ICMR invites online application for Indian citizens up to 8th March 2024 to fill the officer uh, to fill the following technical officer group A position or position under ICMR headquarters New Delhi for appointment on regular basis. So these are permanent posts and they are hiring for and uh, obviously they are transferable to all over the India and they are hiring for technical officer B and technical officer C. So since this my audience is basically uh, more towards or more to it's completely towards bio life sciences so i'll be discussing only about this biomedical engineering vacancy okay so the pay scale will be pay level 10 of pay matrix 57 5600 to 177500 as per 7th pay commission and usual allowances as admission from time to time the last date of receipt of online application is 8th march till 5 30 pm just to certain important uh, important note that uh, all information relating to this recruitment right from the status of the application up to the nomination of selected candidate to the initial place of posting including call letters for the test to be provisionally eligible candidates will be available on the icmr so basically whatever the details about this post will only be available on the icmr website so this is the icmr website and icmr will not be responsible for information available for any other sources so whatever information that you want to ask or you want to you will be getting will be available on the icmr website now the details about this vacancy or the qualifications the name of the post is technical officer b and there is one post which is unreserved specialization is biomedical engineering and the qualification is second class bachelors of biomedical engineering degree with one year working experience in area of repair maintenance of medical research equipments technical installation inspection and preventive maintenance of medical scientific equipment so they only want a second class bachelors of biomedical engineering degree okay so these are rest of the uh, vacancies so i'm not going into the detail the uh, age limit is 35 years for technical officer b and 45 years for technical officer c okay so the last age uh, upper, lay, upper age limit shall be determined as on the closing date for the submission of online yani ki jab aapne last date ko aapne uh, jo application ki last date hai us date pe ab jo aapki wo hogi umar hogi that will be considered as the your final age no age relaxation will be available for sc st obc candidates so okay so because this is an unreserved uh, vacancy so sc st obc candidates will not be get, get, getting any uh, age benefits now the selection process all applications shall be first screened based on the information provided by the candidate in an application form then the written test will be conducted in respect of a screen fact applicants the selection would be made on merit basis on the aggregate score in the cbt test or t80 marks and interview 20 marks out of 80 60 questions shall be related to related subject trade and 20 questions shall be related to the computer skills general scientific knowledge current affairs including development in biomedical sciences common sense analytical skills statistics and general awareness so the question 80 multiple choice questions will be asked each question will carry one mark there will be negative marking for 0.2 of 0.25 marks for each wrong answer the duration of the cbt will be 80 minutes Weightage of maximum 5 marks will be accord, accorded to candidates who possess post-qualification research, lab, field experience in any government recognized, approved, registered institution, organization such as central, state, UT, you know, autonomous, PSU, statutory body, etc. These marks will be added of the interview that is at the time of the preparation of the selection list. So minimum qualifying marks will be 50%. Five times the number of vacancies will be called for the interview application fees is 500 rupees which is non-refundable for uh, all the candidates and uh, except from SCST women PWD ex servicemen candidate that are exempted from this application fees and you can pay the application fees through the online payment mode via any credit card using the uh, debit card credit card or any net banking okay so this that's it this is the information that I wanted to share and the mode of op application is online only no offline mode will be accepted so these are just general instructions that's it okay thank you